Today I've been doing a lot of database migrations between two different servers. It's going through the process of backing up and restoring different databases, MySQL databases specifically. So I figured I'd create this little video uh, to actually show you how to back up and restore databases directly from the command line. So if you're looking for how to restore the database, I do have a separate video for that and you can check that video out. This one is specifically just gonna be quick and dirty for how to use the MySQL dump command and actually create a database backup. So I'm already SSH'd into my server here, which you will need command line access in order to use. And then you'll also need the username, password, and database name for the database you wanna back up using MySQL dump. So if I go ahead and connect to the MySQL database itself, so use the MySQL command, dash U for, to specify the username, and then dash P to get prompted for our password, and then just the name of the database itself. If you're not sure what the name of the database is, uh, you can just leave that blank. You can hit enter, type in your password, and you'll see that we connected, didn't have an issue connecting to the MySQL database itself. In this case, it's MariaDB, but basically the same thing. And right here, you can see we don't have a database actually selected to use. So if you're unsure of what your database name is, then you can use the show databases command with a semicolon, and you can list out the databases that you actually have access to with this user account. And then you can select that database or, or whatever you want to do with it. So now that we know our database name, we can use the MySQL dump command with the uh, very similar syntax, and we'll specify our username, the dash P flag to get prompted for our password, and then the database name itself. In my case, the username and the database name are the same. And then we can use the greater than sign and specify the file location we want to save this MySQL dump to. In this case, I'm just going to save it to my home directory and call it backup.sql. And we'll hit enter, get prompted for our password. And then it'll go through, in this case, it was pretty quick. This is a relatively small database. It's about 30 megabytes of raw SQL data. So it's not super large. But once the command goes through and MySQL is done, if we do an ls tech la, we should now see our backup.sql that was created. 